you know, ideally you want to become the kind of teacher you wish you could have had. I think that's the ultimate model for teachers to say, so I try and be, I can teach somebody the nuts and bolts of drawing and painting. I can't teach somebody poetry or make them an artist, but I can teach them the tools that they can then uh, become their own artist through using. So, so you, you feel um, like you can, someone can will themselves into becoming a great artist. I mean, what I've taken away from that is that you have to put in your 10,000 hours. Yeah, well, that's great that you feel that way. 10,000 hours is 20 hours a week for 10 years. It's exactly what it turns out to be. And I have students, um, I, I, I don't mind name dropping. Howard Stern is one of my favorite students. Um, Howard's been with me seven years and my man has a foundation of drawing and painting that now he can really do his own thing. He's, he's just evolving after these seven years to uh, become his own artist. He's, he's really been flowering as somebody who's now doing his own thing. And it took him seven years of, of looking at the artists I recommend and practicing the drawing techniques I teach and the wash techniques. There's a lot to learn. Yeah. Um, and but if somebody's willing to put in the time, the beautiful thing about it is it's a learnable technique. I, I was going to mention, Howard, actually, you know, funny enough, I was um, doing some you know, research for, for this conversation last night and um, I had Howard on in the background and all of a sudden he's talking about Frederick Brosen. And <laughs> he, he tells a story, which I'd like to get your take on that I guess over the weekend or just recently, he was speaking with you and he was tantruming because he couldn't find uh, bowls he uses to mix watercolors. Is this, is this it, right? Is it, that just happened? He was freaking out. Well, he's on, you know, listen, Howard is under a lot of pressure. He's working, by the way, he's working on a huge painting, the biggest one he's done. Mm -hmm. And it's taken him months. And he's doing a beautiful job on it, but... He, he feels pressured because he doesn't have enough time for, uh, aside from the radio to put in the kind of hours he wishes he could. So he loves the painting so much that he's feeling frustrated. I, you know, I've, I've reluctantly had him work on bigger things because they demand much more kind of prolonged engagement. So we're having, working on smaller things is more manageable for somebody like him who has to divide his time so strictly, um, but he wanted to take on this big boy and he's doing it beautifully, but he's frustrated that he can't work on it. So at the end of our session, he's mixing colors. And what I do with him is I'll, cause I, you know, I won't see him for a number of days. So I'll go over what his next step should be and some of the colors he should be using. And he'll even pre-mix some so that, that uh, he's prepared. So we're going over this mixing and he looks down and he doesn't have a bowl. And he freaks out. Where the fuck are my bowl? God damn it, the housekeeper must have come in and taken them. He's like wigging out. And then he finally realizes that he just had a, a package of six out and he has more bowls in a box somewhere. So he was like, okay, I don't have to fire her. Everything's fine. You know, he calmed down, but yeah, he would, he, he went off. My cousin told me, but that he said some nice things about me. He did. He said that you were the man that taught him everything he knows about painting. I believe those were his really? exact words. Yep. That's very nice that he says that. Yeah. And, you know, I think I first discovered your work um, over the summer. I spent some time out in the Hamptons and there's this local magazine in the East End called Dan's Paper. And Howard uh, had a painting uh, featured on the cover. Uh, unbelievable right. work, so impressive. And included a little interview as well. And he said, you know, something with a similar sentiment that you really taught him everything. And then you looked me up based on that? Yeah. And that's how you found my work? That's how I found your work. Well, I have to tell him that, you know, it's finally paid off. <laughs> <laughs>